everyone, it's Kim and I am here to share with you a design team project for Craft Supplies 1. And I'm sure as you saw in the photographs, it's a very super large tag. And this tag I got from Carrie from Witchcraft. If you remember seeing my video about a week and a half ago or so, she had sent me an amazing rack in the mail. And in that rack was um, a couple of these really large tags that she makes out of MDF in her shop. So. I decided to um, play around with it and this is what I came up with for one of my DT projects for Juliet Craft Supplies 1 and I really had a lot of fun with this um, and incorporated a lot of my favorite things to do so let me share with you what I've done um, starting of course with the tag itself and as you can see up here it's got some vintage music paper and that's just from my stash and I just ripped it up into all different little uh, pieces of paper and there's some here and then there's some down here at the bottom and then I Mod Podge that all on and then I took um, one of the napkins that I got from um, Shabbylicious and um, I sort of tore that up in a few li little pieces and this is a beautiful gorgeous um, ballerina lady I just love this image and the pink in her tutu is very very soft and you can just barely make out that it's pink. It's so soft. I just love it. And um, so I picked up on those color tones. And also in the napkin is some music. <coughs> excuse me, some music uh, notes and stuff. So that's why I chose to do the vintage music paper up here. And after I had gotten everything all Mod Podged, I got some stamps out. And you can see that there's a stamp here that says I love Paris. And then there's one here that says France. And then uh, down here, there's another one there that says Paris. Um, I just kind of went all over. There's one there that says Paris, France. So I just kind of stamped all over the place. I don't know if you can see it, but up here, I used my Victorian velvet, and I, I used my music note uh, stamp. So after I did that, I... Um, I started to embellish and I really had a lot of fun with the embellishments because the things that I got in my DT kit from Julie this month really really fit in perfectly so I was super happy about that it just picked up on all the colors so what I did up here in the corner this is just a metal piece from my stash metal corner and I embossed it with some um, Tim Holtz uh, distress uh, embossing powder I think it's the antique white one um, so that turned out really cute. And then these are the flowers from Julie's store, these beautiful white roses, which I just love. They're so shabby chic looking. And then these pretty little pale, pale pink and white roses. So they fit in just beautifully with this project. And then here I have um, one of the Tim Holtz um, sentiments. It says, Capture Life Moments life's moments and then here this is one of the new newer prima pieces is the ballet slipper so I was really excited I was able to use those I've had them for a while in my stash and uh, I've been anxiously wanting to use them so this was like the perfect project to add that to now over here I have a wooden key which is from Gina's designs and um, I added a few little embellishments from Julie's store um, I also added a little um, wing from Prima, but right here, this is Julie's metal piece, and it's actually bronze. And um, what I did was uh, I just uh, embossed it with the same embossing powder I used on the other metal piece, and uh, it came out this lovely uh, creamy white color, and then I added one of the little pink shabby roses that I got in my DT kit this month. So that, that little part turned out really pretty. And then over here... Um, there's another metal piece from my stash which I embossed and then this is an Eiffel Tower it's like a wood veneer piece for my stash so uh, of course I wanted to add that because it picked up on the uh, Parisian feel of the tag now over here there's tons of craft supplies one oops goodies um, I've got a chipboard piece here which is um, a stacking label set from Gina's and then a Prima heart and then here I've got a couple things that I got in my DC kit. I got these gorgeous um, sparkly pale pink wheat sprays. So I've added a couple of them right there. And then behind that, I'll try and move that out of the way, I've used one of the little pearl sprays that uh, Julie carries in her store. And they're so pretty. I just love these. And it just, I don't know, I just love the sparkle and the the bling and the little glimmer that it gives to this tag along with the shabbiness of it so I really thought that went well 
And then down here, I've got more craft supplies, one flowers. There's the little pink and white ones. And then this is one of those little parchment roses that you see me use all the time that I love. And I gave it just one little spritz of, of Lindy's, um, I think it's Pink Lady's Pink. And it just barely, barely, barely covered it. Um, it just gave it a tiny little pink shimmer. And then over here you can see I have used some uh, velvet leaves from my stash in pink. More of those beautiful creamy roses from Julie's store. And then more of the little pink ones. And then another little velvet leaf there. And then there's another velvet leaf peeking out in the back. And then right here I've used this really pretty uh, vintage type lace from Craft Supplies 1. I love this trim. It's like a, a really soft crocheted trim. So pretty. Um, and I just made a really simple bow. And then I added this little Prima zipper that says sweet. And it's got a little sort of uh, dangly charm there. So that's what I did there. Now for the laces here and trims, I used this uh, eyelet lace from my stash. Actually, that's one that Carrie gave me. And um, here I have beautiful, gorgeous Craft Supplies 1 trims. Now I've double layered this trim, you can see here. Um, and this is double layered trim as it, as it happens. Um, it's got the sheer organza underneath and then it's got this beautiful pink satin. So I put a layer of that down all the way across and then I put another layer down because I wanted it to be really, really soft, like almost like a tutu. So that was what I was going for there. And then right at the top you can just see here more of uh, Craft Supplies 1 uh, beautiful crochet lace. And then down the sides of the tag, I've used more Craft Supplies 1 trims, the double layered trims. And uh, it, this is the double layered with the, the ivory satin and the lace. And I've done that all the way up the sides of the tag, on both sides. And then at the top, I took this pink bow that I had in my stash, well, this pink ribbon I had in my stash, and it's a wired ribbon, and it's got tiny little sort of bows on the top. So I just tied a very simple bow at the top in pink. So I'm just going to pan my camera out so you can get a better look at this. So hopefully you're getting a better view of what this looks like. So there we go. There's the top the flowers, and you can see all the um, the Mod Podge, what I did with the vintage music paper and the napkin, and then coming down, you'll see how it looks, and all the beautiful gorgeous laces and trims and flowers from Craft Supplies 1, and the metal piece right there, which is from Craft Supplies 1 on the key. So that is my um, second DT project for this month, and uh, this is going to go to a friend for a little uh, Christmas gift. So I hope she likes it. And let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. And thank you for watching, everyone. And happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.